In this video, we are going to be looking at hypergeometric distribution. Now, um, before we continue, you please do well to click the subscribe button so that you can get um, notifications on our classes. Okay, so um, we see by definition that the probability that an end trial hypergeometric experiment results in exactly X successes when the population consists of n items okay k of which are classified as successes is given by now um, i want to explain that <clears throat> let's say you have um, a number of um, a box containing let's say five red balls uh, five red balls and um, let's say four blue balls so the number of blue balls is four and I choose to pick two balls at random, okay? Now, your N, your capital N is the, is the total sample space, the total number of population, which means 9 plus 4, 5 plus 4, which is equal to 9, okay? Now, if we want, if we pick two balls and want to find the probability that the two balls are red, for example, Okay, so you can see here that we are interested in red. Okay, so we have five red. So in this case now, our N here is, our K, sorry, is equal to five. Okay, that's the total number of red. Okay, then our N minus K is going to be um, nine minus four, which nine minus five, which is four. Okay. So your K would be your red, the number of red balls, and your N minus K will be the number of blue balls, total number of blue balls. Okay, don't forget that. That's what we have here. Then for <coughs> X now has to do with a random variable. What we we want among the two balls. If the two balls are red, it means that your X is two, okay? Um, and your n minus x or uh, it means 2 minus 2 okay which is 0 so meaning that if we pick two balls if the two balls are red it means that no ball will be blue okay so that is <clears throat> a brief description about the hypergeometric distribution um, is is a case of picking out um, a sample of picking out um, an event without replacement without replacement okay so I want to give another example here let's say you have um, in a school let's erase this in a school let's say you have 20 boys and 40 girls so that means the number of boys is 20 and the number of girls are 40 okay and i need to pick 10 people at random i need to pick 10 people at random now the 10 people i need to pick at random is my n my small letter n that's actually the 10 i need to pick at random okay then my capital letter n is the total number of boys and girls all together that gives us 60 okay so i need to pick 10 at random that's why we say n is the number of items in the sample then capital n there is 60 okay which is the total number of boys and girls now if i want to find the probability that six are boys six are boys it means that um my my k here is going to be six okay my k is going to be six sorry my x that's a mistake that means my x is going to be 6. Uh, that means my n minus x, which means 10 minus x is going to be 4. So meaning that if I pick 6 girls, 6 boys, it means that the number of girls I picked is going to be 4, making it all together 10. So that is it for hypergeometric distribution. And you can see here that the probability of x equal to x is equal to hx that's how we write that x x n n k and which is equal to the whole of this <coughs> k combination x n minus k n minus x small letter n minus x all over capital n combination n now we see an example um, here in this question, we are told that a box contains five red and 
10 white balls. First of all, we can see that our n is the total number of balls. So 5 plus 10 gives us 15. Okay, so we have 15 um, white, um, 15 balls altogether. Okay, so if 8 marbles are to be chosen at random, that's my n. The number of marbles that will be chosen at random, that's my n. My n is 8 without replacement. I told you the hypergeometric distribution um, deals with without replacement. Now determine the probability that 4 will be red. You see, I'm interested in red. So that means my k here, since I'm interested in red, the total number of red is 5. Okay? And 4 will be red. That means my x is going to be equal to 4. That is how it works. Okay? So your k and x has to do with the successes. The k is the total number of success. Y, X is the particular success we are looking for. So, um, according to our definition, we can say that the probability here of X equal to X now is equal to, we say, um, at this point, we can have 5 combination 4, okay? That means K combination X. Remember, we have K, X, okay? Then your the rest here will be 10 because 15 minus 5 is 10. Remember, it's supposed to be n minus k, then here n minus x. So your n here minus x here is going to give us 8 minus 4, which is 4. Okay, now divided by n combination n. Remember, it's supposed to be divided by n combination small n. Okay, so n combination n here means 15 combination 8. Okay, so if we use our calculator to achieve that, we are going to get 0 0.163 as the answer to that question. That's quite easy. So let's see the second question again. Now, it says, what is the probability that all will be white? Remember, N here, capital N is the total number of balls, which is 15. Then N here is the total number that we need, the total number of trials here, which is 8. Now, but in this case here, we are interested in white balls. It said all will be white. So, that means my K is the total number of white balls, which is 10. Then my X is the number of white balls. <coughs> we are told... Um, to pick. They said all will be white. That means um, we need eight balls. Remember, all together eight balls. So that means eight. The eight of them are going to be white. Okay, so if we um, do that here, let's write our formula again. K, X, K combination X, then N minus K, small N minus X, all over N combination n okay so if we substitute values now k combination x is going to be 10 combination 8 now times n minus k n minus k is 15 minus 10 which is 5 then combination small n minus x which is um that's 8 minus 8 which is 0 okay divided by n combination n that's 15 combination 8 okay so if we do that now using our calculator we are going to be getting 0 0.00699, 0 0.00699, okay? So <clears throat> that means the probability, another way you can write that, you can say that the probability of x equal to 8, that means all, is equal to 0 0.0699, okay? Now we go to the next question. It says at least one will be read. Now, whenever you hear the word at least one will be red, it means that the least should be one. It means from one upwards. Remember, we have eight marbles to pick, so at least one should be red. That means from one to be eight to eight. That means it is supposed to be probability of x equal to one plus probability of x equal to two plus probability of x equal to three. You keep going plus dot 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 plus probability of x equal to eight. Now, but if we do this, it's going to be very, very, very <clears throat> long. Okay, it's going to be very, very long. So um, how else can we do this? So we can say that the probability we can write it this way, that the probability at least 1 means probability of x greater than or equal to 1 is the same thing as saying 1 minus probability of x less than 1, okay? 
that is beautiful 1 minus probability of x less than 1 okay so that's going to give us 1 minus the probability <coughs> sorry um, the probability of x less than 1 is the same thing as same probability of x equal to 0 because that's the only number that is less than 0 so um, let's see what is probability of x equal to 0 Remember here we are dealing with red, so um, we are going to have my n is 15 as usual, my n here is 8 as usual. Now my k, we are dealing with red balls, so the total number of red balls is 5, then my x is 0. Remember, probability of x equals to 0. So um, that means if I say 1 minus probability of x equal to 0, it means 1 minus... Um, your k combination x is 5 combination 0 then your n minus k is 10 your small n minus x is 8 then everything all over 15 combination 8 so um, you can use your calculator to achieve that maybe i can help you out here with some calculator so 5 combination 0 is 1 um, 10 combination 8 let's see so we are going to get 10 combination 8, um, combination 8, now divided by um, 15 combination 8, 15 combination 8. So you see that? We get 0 0.00699, just like we did earlier. So it means that our final answer now is going to be 1 minus 0 0.0699 and um, so that would be 0 0.9 that would be 0 0.9 um, 9 let's say Three, approximately 0 0.9 you know you can sort that out using your calculator okay so we go to the next question here it says that 13 cards are to be chosen at random without replacement 13 cards are to be chosen at random without replacement but an ordinary deck of 15 cards 52 cards now find the probability that a 6 will be a spade then B, none will be a jack. Okay, so this is another case of hypergeometric distribution, of hypergeometric distribution. Okay, so um, we are going to say um, our N, the total number of cards, like we have here is 52. Then our N, the number of cards we want to choose is 13. Then our K, here, the first question A, we are interested in speed. Okay. Now you should know that a jack, I mean a card, pack of card has 13 spades. Okay, so it has 13, we have 13 spades. Um, you can divide it into spades. Um, we have um, clubs. We have diamond. Then we have hats. Okay, and um, each of them are 13. So we have 13 spades, 13 club, 13 diamond. 13 um, hats in the same way um, you can also um, um, divide the cards um, the cards to um, the number so from number 2 to 10 has 4 each okay so the same way kings you have 4 kings you have 4 queens okay you have 4 jacks okay and you also have 4 aces okay so, um, <clears throat> but in this very question here, so we rub this off. 